Good morning. I want to give a short demonstration on how to use a tool called Live Binders. So I'm going to go to a website called LiveBinders.com and I have already logged into Live Binders. Um, so let me log out. Um, when you get to Live Binders you'll see this page and you want to go in the upper right hand corner and you don't have to sign up if you're going to look at a binder you do have to sign up for a free account if you want to create or collaborate on a binder so I'm going to log in and my live binder username is Rinda MC so if you want to look me up you can see all these binders that I have created and let's say I want to create a new binder so I'm going to click create binder and start a blank binder and it's going to ask me for all this information the name of the binder a description tag so that people can find it when they're searching whether it's personal or educational or entertainment and then whether it's public or private and then you click create new binder and you get a new binder one that I've just created for work that I'm going to be doing with a colleague um, clear across the United States, we are 3,000 miles apart, um, is a, a, a binder called Educator Collaboration Environments. So I've clicked, you can click on a tab. Um, I'm going to call this Screen Capture Tools, and I'm going to call this tab. Um, um, asynchronous chat and I'm going to call this I'm going to add a new tab I'm going to call this um, collaboration collaborative writing or something like that I mean I'll change these as we go along now I'll go back to the original tab and what I want to do is have a sub tab and I'm going to call this Y and then I'm going to create a new sub tab by clicking and say add new sub tab and how to use this binder those are probably the only two introductions that I would want to have then I'll go to screen capture tools and just like any binder I like to have a front page on the binder that is pretty uh, generic not so that you open it up and the first thing you see is content so what I'm going to do here is click the edit menu and the edit bar is at the bottom and I'm going to click text layout and all I want is to have a title text then I'm going to click edit menu again and that bottom part goes away I'm going to click this and call this educator collaboration environments if I could spell it would be good and I'm going to add a subtitle And you'll notice that I don't, I'm not going to like the size of these, the text. So I go to font and I'm, um, Arial's fine. I'm going to change the size to something small and then something big. And that seems to work. So now I have a front page. I'll go to screen capture tools and again, I'm going to hit edit menu, text layout. I'm going to hit a title, edit menu again to close it. I'm going to type w exactly what's written up here screen capture tools and a little description once again go to size 2 and then back up to size 7 and it seems to pop it up fine now I want to add a sub tab so I'm going to click this button and add new sub tab and the first one I'm going to call put in screencast o -matic, because that's what we're using for this um, recording right now and I'm going to call this HTTP colon place chase www.screencastomatic.com hit the insert button and now the web page shows up then I can go and add a new sub tab and insert the URL that I want or click edit menu, I could upload media, I could upload text with media, so I have text on one side and the media on the other side, 
I could have just a small description and text on one side and the web page over here. I could just do typing, just type in something. I could upload a PDF. Um, if you hit upload file, you can browse and upload anything you want. Um, so there are a lot of options when you put it into edit. The other thing I want to do edit is the binder properties because this blue gray thing or it says it's green. Well, there you go. I must be colorblind. I'm going to make it um, it's updated into peach. Okay, that's that's a little brighter and more friendly to me. You can also upload. Um, for example, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to take you back to my binders to a binder that I've been working on for family and friends called the Apple Orchard. It is open to pu the public. And um, the theme here, life is like living in an apple orchard. You have to reach out and take out a bite and take a bite. And I have uploaded paintings on each of my tabs of something to do with apples and the quote that I have as my opening quote. There's a girl studying with her apples. Um, woman in the apple orchard. So this just sort of is kind of a, a presentation tool that um, uh, gives the viewer some, some visual interest on that front page. Um, one of my environments, going back to my binders, um, There's one of my um, binders for meetings for a community of practice, and I've uploaded a Wordle that just sort of describes who we are and what we do for our uh, collaboration tools, uh, our collaboration events. But we are all at a distance; we don't work in the same building, and that's kind of what I use live binders for: is a, you know a presentation tool uh, or a collaboration tool. Um, so that just gives you an overview of how to you know add in tabs and sub tabs different ways you can put in documentation and um, hopefully this will be uh, what you need